Right. Whatever you say. Just, uh, kind of need to find out how to do this now. Right. That. Interesting. Very interesting mechanic there. Ha! It's like artillery. I have weapons too, Wheatley. Right. Wait, what was I supposed to do after that? Like, oh, right, go back. I can't go back, for the record. Can't seem to go back. Oh, over there, okay. I'm totally dead, Wheatley. Don't mind me until I actually get there. Wheatley Laboratories. Place about to blow up. Crashing's too good for him. First, he'll spend a year in the incinerator. Year two, cryogenic refrigeration wing. Then, ten years in the chamber I built where all the robots scream at you. Then, I'll kill him. Huh? Okay. Uh, huh. Am I supposed to be able to do something here? Can't do anything. And why are there explosives? I don't get it. There's nothing here at all whatsoever. And I can't break that. Sigh. Nothing here. I can't shoot. What the hell? Why could I do that? Oh well, call it a glitch. Oh man, is this gonna be bad. Lodi do, lodi do. Where am I going? Is this it yet? Nope, of course not. Why would it be? Huh. Ah! There you are! Great! Let me just get rid of this scaffold. Oh, okay. There we go. I wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. Ah, uh, yep. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird in that first time I've said it out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. <laughs> But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you can just jump into that masher just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death huh. will not be optional, alright? It will be mandatory, no tricks, no surprises, just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. 
So, okay, I'll take that as a no then. Fine, well, may the best man win. Sphere, may the best sphere win. Swap that, swap that in. Much more fair, of course. Ah, that works. Right. Whatever. This is still gonna work. That didn't do shit. Yes, it did. Cause I can do that. Hey, hey. I don't know what that does, but okay. Whoa! Very proper layer this is. What has he done to this place? Oh dang. That's uh pretty bad. Can I maybe uh get up there? At all. Whatsoever. No idea. Is there anything here that I can use? Anything at all? Please. Please, I'm begging you here. Hi, uh, why does things get less and less complicated as they go on? Why that makes, why I did that, I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. There you go. I don't exactly know the point, but I did it. It feels good. <coughs> Does that mean it's going to be useful? Absolutely not. I need blue gel here, though. That's the problem. Oh, right. That. My bad. Oh, yes. To his lair. You know, I'm not stupid. I realize you don't want to put me back in charge. You think I'll betray you? And on any other day, you'd be right. The scientists were always hanging cores on me to regulate my behavior. I've heard voices all my life. But now I hear the voice of a conscience and it's terrifying. Because for the first time, it's my voice. I'm being serious. I think there's something really wrong with me. Oh, crap. GLaDOS is starting to have a conscious. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. But, uh, but hey, I think she's still going to uh, betray me. So give me my cake! It's about 900, nine, over 9,000 years due, but give me my cake! I want my cake. Seriously. I've been wanting that for, like, years. Where am I? Right. Right. Corrupted cores, we're in luck. You find a way to stun him, I'll send you a core, and then you attach it to him. If we do it a few times, he might become corrupt enough for another core transfer. <laughs> Perfect. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Except you're not exactly my friend, you almost well, killed me. Well, well, welcome to my lair. Let me just flag something up. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break where we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. 
Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bomb is kind of throwing at you. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good fun. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Bring it on! Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you why you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you'll get. It's bloody clever. Here's seven. Idiot! Ha! Ah. Ah. That's sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Your yes. brilliant, brilliant oh, trap. You wait, wait. Your extremely brilliant trap. To give you false hope, because that. I'm not entirely sure what to do, but I have a feeling I do know what to do. And guess what? This is a cliffhanger. I'll see you guys next time. Ha! <laughs> because I have no doubt that I'm about to run out of memory anyway, and I don't want to stop recording in the middle of the credits.